So I absolutely hate eating healthy because it's pretty much the worst. But now that I'm getting old, I'm starting to realize that it's actually pretty important to be healthy and live a healthy and happy and long life. So I'm gonna have to find some technology tools, tricks and hacks that I can use to be more healthy without having to eat some of these healthy foods that actually taste pretty terrible. So for my entire life up to this point, I've pretty much understood that food exists along a spectrum of healthy and delicious, where there's an inverse relationship, meaning that everything that's healthy is pretty much gross and everything that's unhealthy is delicious. But over the course of four weeks and with the help of a continuous glucose monitor that we'll talk about in a little bit, I found that there actually exists some edge cases and things that are actually healthy that aren't so bad and some things that taste terrible and are actually terrible for you. And the best way to find out the difference between the things that are good for you and yummy and bad for you and disgusting is actually to understand how your body specifically processes sugars and different food materials. Okay, so the backstory for this test, I actually saw on Instagram that an influencer was using something called a Levels Continuous Glucose Monitor, and they said that it completely changed their life and they would recommend it to anyone, which is not so dissimilar to what you're doing watching this video, so check that out. But anyway, since they recommended it and I thought it was interesting and I obviously am looking for technology hacks that will help me improve my life without having to put too much effort into it. So the next step of course was to write to the people at Levels and tell them that I am a significant and super influential YouTube influencer and that they should send me a little bit of their product so that I could test it. Miraculously, that worked and they responded and said that I would be able to test out two of their modules over the course of four weeks and in doing so, I would get a better understanding of my individual glucose profile and see how that could help me eat a little bit more healthy and understand the foods that I'm already eating. So let's talk about what a glucose monitor actually does. I'm gonna try and keep this part pretty brief. The science is probably beyond me anyway, but essentially you have two pieces to it. So there's a sensor, which is this right here that you can see. And what that does is it sticks into your arm right there, boom, and it tracks all the levels that you have throughout the day. So it's reading your blood and it's reading the glucose levels inside of your blood. Then the second part is actually the levels app. And what they do is they take all of those readings throughout the day, it sends it through their algorithms and they help you understand, okay, you ate a pizza in the evening and this is the profile response that you had. That way they can start to understand what your score is for different individual food items when you're eating different meals and how your body reacts. So the difficult part about getting set up is you actually have to inject this little sensor into your arm, which is kind of intimidating. So you gotta make sure you work up the courage to do that. It doesn't actually hurt, but I did have a kind of rough experience when I first put it into my arm. It actually did bleed a little bit, which was concerning. I wrote to the company and they responded that that does happen occasionally and it has something to do with if you um, kind of misapply, you put it in the wrong spot. Probably my own fault, but a little bit scary and something to be aware of. As you put it in, they actually have a pretty fancy little spring-loaded um, applicator where you can put it right in and it doesn't really hurt at all. It's instantaneous basically. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. But once I got up the courage to put it into my arm, you scan it through the free Libre app and then connect that to your Levels app and you're good to go for the next two weeks. So the Levels aspect and understanding how the foods individually affect you is why I was able to use this tech solution in order to help me feel a little bit healthier and be healthier without changing my diet too much. Because one of the things that you notice as you're starting to track your glucose levels is that exercise and time of day, timing of meals and order of meals actually makes a significant impact on how your glucose levels stay throughout the day. Now there are professional glucosers out there who are able to keep their levels in a tight little band throughout the entire day. And mine looks a little bit more like my heartbeat, but you can learn about how to improve those things over time. And even just having fewer meals late at night or having different meals at different times or a smaller breakfast or a bigger breakfast or a smaller lunch, any of those things can actually have a significant impact on your individual glucose response. Now again, I don't pretend to understand all of the science behind this and this isn't necessarily an instructional video so much as understanding your individual profile and doing your own little tests actually make a big difference in understanding how you should go about being more healthy in your own life. There are lots of things that you learn from online and from coaches and personal trainers that will tell you about general responses to glucose and different items. But to give you an example, my wife and I actually both tried out this same software and ice cream for me actually hardly affects my glucose at all, which is so awesome. It made me so happy. I basically can eat as much ice cream as I want and that's all the permission I needed. But it definitely affects my wife significantly worse. And the reverse is true with things like soda and carbs, where lots of bread or lots of soda will spike my 
glucose significantly higher than it ever should be, and it will drop way down lower than it should, just because you know a, a quick soda here, there, or a significant piece of bread or sandwich actually affects me pretty dramatically. So trying to understand how that affects me compared to how that affects my wife actually made a big difference, and now we don't have to just use the recommendations from online or from generic people, we can use recommendations that are personalized to how our bodies individually function. And my recommendation for this entire platform is that it's absolutely valuable for people to understand how their personal profiles work and how their body reacts to certain food groups and food elements, because you may just not know why you're not able to lose weight or you're not able to gain weight the way you want to, and it could be because your body reacts differently than everyone else's. So understanding that and having that kind of cheat code for your own body makes a huge difference, and that's why I recommend this platform completely. So if you've never tried using a glucose monitor and you don't have a good understanding of your own individual glucose profile or how your body reacts to those things, I would definitely recommend getting it to try it for two or four weeks. It's not that expensive when you think about it as a one-time cost, kind of applying that toward understanding your body better. I think it's worth it. It's a membership where I think you pay somewhere between $150 and $250 per month to have this continuously. That's more than I was able to handle for sure. But for one month, if you think about that as a one-time expense where you can get it and you can run a lot of tests for your personal body and your current diet and see how that affects you over 30 days, that is actually incredibly useful and valuable information that you can then apply to how you choose to run your own diets and how you choose to run your own exercise regimen based on that individualized information. So if you've tried levels and you have a different experience or something you wanna share, please leave that in the comment section below. Likewise, if you have any questions about how it works, anything that I can answer, I will definitely try to do so in that comment section. If you found any value in this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a like, and we will see you in the next one.